वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थ्रू आउट दी वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न सो मैनी न्यू थिंग्स सो वॉच दीडियो फ्रॉम दी स्टार्टिंग टिल दी एंड सो लेट्स बिगिन today the first topic which we are going to discuss is checking spelling and grammar now spelling checker is available in writer this facility checks each word as we type them okay now what happens if we make any spelling mistakes so many spelling mistakes i have purposely made okay so a red line is put under the word wherever we have made spelling mistake by the writer now one more thing which you have to remember is a word is considered to be misspelled if it is not present in the stored directory of bhavnagar for example the word bhavnagar which i have typed the spelling is correct isn't it but then to it's shown it is shown as a spelling mistake because that is not present in the directory of writer fine now there are two ways of checking and uh, correcting the spellings the first way is wherever you want to correct the spelling mistake you have to bring your cursor there and give a right click over their word so writer will show you the suggestions okay now from that whichever uh, suggestion you feel like you can use that suggestion okay this is one way and another way is you have to go to the beginning of the document okay then here you can see this thing on the standard toolbar that is spelling and grammar checking button another one button looks the same that is auto spell check which is already on okay and which is putting the underline that is already on so you have to click here or second option is from tools menu you have to select spelling and grammar and third thing is straight away when you press the function key f7 remember it could be asked in the mcq whenever you press the function key f7 then also a spelling and grammar checking dialog box will open at present i am clicking here fine so wherever there is spelling mistake for example the word facility okay then it show it is shown here in red color and in bold and here are the suggestions and on the right hand side are given these all options how many options are there six options are there now here i know that this spelling which i have typed is wrong so i can click on change so it will be replaced by this correct spelling if i click on change all then wherever in this document i have made the same spelling mistake it will be replaced at present i am clicking change now we come to the next word and here the mistake is o f o i have to type o f now the first default suggestion which it is showing is few few is wrong so i select the next suggestion and i click on change so like this way i have to go on changing the words fine now we come to the uh, next thing and that is this three buttons okay now for example if uh, this city's name i have to type so many times okay then i can click on ignore once or ignore all if i click ignore once then that spelling mistake will not be uh, means here it will be solved one time and if i click on ignore all wherever i have type bhavnagar it will not show me as a spelling mistake and the best option is if i want to add this word in the directory of writer i have to click on the add button same thing could also be done by giving a right click on bhavnagar and add option both the things are the same in the standard directory so this was all about checking spelling and
next topic we are discussing is using synonyms and thesaurus most of them not may not be knowing the pronunciation of this word it's known as thesaurus now what is the meaning of synonym a word which is similar to the other word okay many a times uh, we want to use a different word in the place of the word which we are knowing so we need the use of synonyms and thesaurus means the meaning of that word fine so according to your textbook what is given it's not working i have checked just now so i will have to teach you the same thing using another software see according to your textbook it's given that right click on a word or phrase whose meaning you are looking for and select synonyms from the pop up menu a sub menu of the alternative words and the phrases is displayed click on uh, a word or phrase which you want the highlighted word or phrase to be replaced now this thing is not working for example i want to replace the word word right click that option is only not coming say that option is not coming another option in your textbook which is given for example i select this word meaning or right uh, yeah i select this word meaning and i go to tools menu language option then also this thesaurus is not at all highlighted so this is a defective software and so nobody in the world uses this software except your textbook now same thing we use here for example i type a word demonstrate okay and i want to look for the synonyms simple right click okay and synonyms fine show reveal display so many synonyms are displayed here am i right like this way it should be displayed in the software which is there in your course but it's not working it's a hopeless software writer now thesaurus so as soon as i go to the thesaurus it will also show me the thesaurus fine so like this way it is and same thing uh, that is uh, in the writer it was given that tools menu language option and from here also you can go to thesaurus so that is also possible both the ways fine so here we end this topic writer's auto correct function is used to correct the typing errors up to some extent now there is a long list of common misspellings and the typing errors stored in the writer's auto correct function for example if i type h t e just observe i am zooming the thing little bit what did i type h t e now when i press the space bar it will convert it into t h t right so this thing is done automatically so like this way when we are typing speedily we make some common mistakes okay so there is a list of this type of things given there now if you want also want to increase your typing speed for example i need to type bhavnagar so many times so i created a shortcut b v n and space so automatically it will convert it into power number so all this thing is done i will show you you have to go to the tools menu and from the tools menu you have to select the last option that is auto correct option so this type of dialog box will open for example i want to type uh, fatima convent high school or fatima convent so i create a shortcut key here f c h s okay and i replace it with now remember that here if i have typed the word in small then whenever i type it in the document also i have to type in the same form and it will be replaced as i have kept here for example i have capitalized each word here then exactly like that way it will be replaced now i have to click on the new option okay and okay fine now if i type here f c h s and space so it will be replaced by fatima convent high school 
Now this facility is all, obviously it's there in Microsoft Word and you can make the usage of this facility. Now just observe what I am doing. I type just A L T E and it is displaying me like WhatsApp that would you like to type the word alternative? If yes, then I press the enter key. Okay, so this is the thing which we are going to learn and that is the next facility. The name of the facility is using word completion. Okay, so the word completion facility is a little bit uh, different than the autocorrect facility. Here, while typing as in when you type two, three characters, writer tries to guess which word you are typing okay for example just now i showed you the example i was trying to type something and when i typed uh, type just three letters it suggested me that would you like to type alternative right so like that way so it uh, guesses what you are uh, trying to type and offers to complete the word for you now if you want that word then you have to press the enter key right otherwise go on continue typing now how is this thing possible this facility is very useful facility and not even present in microsoft word okay fine so it is like that way that uh, if you have typed that word any time one or two times in the same document okay and then again if you try to type that word then it will give you that facility to uh, switch on and off that facilities you have to go to tools menu okay and auto correct option and from auto correct option you can uh, keep it on or off from here word completion okay generally we keep it on only enable word completion but just now we had learned about the auto correct facility am i right and using Autocorrect facility also you can increase your typing speed by creating shortcuts for uh, longer words. Right? We had created of FCHS, Fatima Convent High School like that way. Now something more advanced than that also we are going to learn just now. Now that facility is known as auto text. Like other word processor, writer also provides auto text facility. Using auto text we can store text tables fields and other items for reuse and can assign them a key combination for easy retrieval for example suppose you have to write a letter to a particular person frequently say to the registrar of university then what we can do practically we will learn this thing so first thing is I will uh, create address block here to the registrar now here I am uh, just typing what is given in the textbook fine so I have typed this thing now next step what I have to do is I select this much thing okay then I have to go to edit menu from edit menu I have to select auto text so this dialog box will come now I have to assign a name to this thing so what name shall I assign to this thing okay so just now I assign uh, R for uh, uh, registrar GTU Gujarat uh, Technological University okay and I assign automatically it assigns a shortcut key R okay then from here you have to select the auto text so you can click here text only okay and then category you can decide that is my auto text okay so the thing is ready now I close this thing now whenever I want to use this thing for example 
I open a new document and in that I want to use that thing then what I have to do is what was the shortcut key R so I have to type R and then press the function key F3 so immediately that whole block will appear remember the shortcut key okay what you have assigned that is R for example here and then you have to press the F3 function key so like this way it is So these are the last topic of this video and this chapter. First thing is giving line numbering. Okay. Now if you want to give line numbering, you have to go to tools menu and from here you have to select the option name line numbering. So this line numbering dialog box will open. You have to click here. From here you can select line numbering or main index entry or whatever you want page number anything then format that is one two three or capital a b c d first second third whatever you want to select you can select from here spacing that is left okay then interval one by default it is one you can set it more also i click ok so here you will see the numbers will come before the starting of each line now i remove this thing and teach you the next facility remove this thing like this now insert and overwrite mode what is it for example my cursor is here I will have to zoom it little bit to explain you the thing my cursor is here now if I try to type anything the then it will get typed right now if I press the insert key on the keyboard then what will happen just try to see now I try to type the okay what did you notice the word on the right hand side is getting deleted it was the word was selected so that word is getting deleted once again i type the the right so this is known as over typing mode this is there in microsoft word also by mistake also if you press the enter key and if you try to type something for example i want to add bit something between word processor or before word processor very good word processor if I want to add very and if I try to type very what will happen see the other word will go away so this thing is known as over type okay overwrite mode okay I again press the insert key and come back to the normal state press ctrl z fine then the next thing is counting the number of characters or word in the selection or document both these things for example I select this paragraph okay now to do this counting work actually it is a useless thing but then to it given in the textbooks I am teaching you tools menu and word count so it will show you this dialog box number of words in this selection is 34 and number of characters is 202 number of word in the whole document is 161 and characters is 945 like this way fine then we come to the last topic and that is changing case in microsoft word we get various options upper lower uh, capitalizes each word or sentence case while here we get only two options for that you have to go to format menu no shortcut key is kept outside this is a very old version old software which is there in your textbook okay from format menu you have to go to this option called uh, change case you get only two options uppercase and lowercase i click on uppercase so like this way it is now please like the video because i have taken such a lot of pain to prepare the video none of the screen recorder are working in this uh, awkward ubuntu operating system and especially in this uh, writer software but I have managed this thing for you. Thank you. Goodbye.